Like any expat parents coming to a new country, one of the biggest concerns is how well their child would adapt to their new school. Luckily for us, both our kids adapted very well and very fast, thanks to the wonderful teachers they have at CGB. I would say very easy and quick. Uh, this is a very international school uh, with lots of expat families. We have around 50 nationalities this year, so can you imagine how amazing that is? So you have kids, um, very adaptable, uh, used to change from one country to the other, used to make friends very easily. So that's what happened with mine, and I'm sure it will happen with yours. It was unexpectedly very easy, because uh, it's our first experience of moving to another country and attending international school, and we were uh, worried about it. How has your child's adaptation process been to CGB? It's been fairly smooth because they've lived in a lot of different countries and they've been to a lot of different international schools. We found the administration very welcoming and they were comfortable from the first day. My kids' adaptation process to CGB was very, very easy. They felt like one more in the community since the first moment. I think that this is a community that shelters everyone in a great way. The adaptation process at CGB was so easy and so short. Then the first week, my, my kids, I have three of them, my kids have the feeling that they were at home, they had friends and they enjoy at the school. The adaptation process for the three of them was amazing. They felt very comfortable with their friendly mates and they were accepted immediately in their groups. It was, I could say, easy and smooth. They both knew how to speak English and Spanish. The oldest studied reception in a British school in Italy. Even the books were the same, so the adaptation was really easy for her. You and your family will easily adapt and feel warmly welcomed in this truly international and multicultural school with more than 50 different nationalities represented in our student and staff population.